This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Good morning, all. Welcome to Practical Data Science Program. I'm sure I have uh, eight years of experience in data science and artificial intelligence. I work for one of the top MNCs. Okay, uh, I can speak Telugu and uh, English. You can ask me any question in any language. If you have uh, any questions or you're not able to convey in English, you can reach me in Telugu as well. I can explain you. The course would be, uh, the time would be from eight to nine or seven to seven, uh, seven to eight. It depends on the availability. Okay. Now, I'm Deepa Kandi. I have eight years experience in the real time, uh, data science and uh, artificial intelligence law. Most of the course in uh, English learning, but basic English. Okay, well, I'm going to have doubts. Unte, I'm going to pack a convey a couple of the. I'm going to go to the language learning confirmation, clarify this. Okay. Before going into okay. data science course, I just want to give some brief introduction. Okay. So where we use data science. Okay. So you have some shop, retailer shop, okay? Might be uh, some grocery store or some supermarket. You need to forecast or predict. If you want to run your market, you need to get the stock rate. Right? You need to keep the stock available. Today, you sold, let's say 100 units, okay? Might be some uh, item, 100 units, okay? Yesterday, it was 80. And tomorrow, the general prediction is 120. Okay, 80, 100, 120. That's fine. But what if tomorrow is some festival? For sure, the sales will go high. Or tomorrow some might be some holiday. For sure, the sales will go down. Okay. The common people, they'll understand 80, 100, and 120. Okay. As a data science guy, we need to consider all the parameters, whether we have any uh, occasions or any leaves or holidays, how will be the trend from the last year? Okay, we consider all the parameters. Okay, that is sales forecasting. Okay, and you are analyzing social data, social media data might be uh, Twitter or Facebook. Okay. If you are launching one product, let's say that's a very brand new, might, might be iPhone mobile. If you want to increase your sales, where you have to target, how you can send your product to the people. Okay. Might be advertising, which you are seeing here, mobile uh, messages. Okay, on some media, might be some advertisements in TV or somewhere. Okay, so some marketing. You can see uh, this size, right? So this is our first priority. Marketing, so might be sending the SMS. Okay, so there are n number of ways you can target to the people. Okay, this is, or let's take you launch the product. You want to understand how people are liked it, whether they liked it or just a source of, or they do not like it. If they like, what is the feature they're talking about? Might be display is good, might be camera is good, might be bad. Uh, you're talking about the course, or you uh, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. If you're talking about the course, uh, it will be from Monday.
Can you hear me, guys? That's good. I can hear you. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. The course will start from course will start from Monday. Okay. So you need to understand how people are talking about from social data, social media data might be from Facebook or Twitter. We extract the data. We understand the data. Okay. That's one thing. And if you are purchasing something in online, might be uh, Amazon. If you are looking for some T-shirt, okay, men T-shirt, it gives you something, okay, men T-shirt, and it also recommends you something related to that. If you are searching for some iPhone, it gives let's say iPhone eight, okay, it gives you iPhone ten or iPhone X, okay, because it rec it understands your intention. Okay, this guy is searching for iPhone, okay, since he is searching for eight. i can recommend him for iphone 10 as well so that he can increase your sales not only iphone let's say you are searching for iphone 10 okay this is a top end he cannot show you iphone 8 right he rather he shows the accessories for iphone 10 okay accessories for iphone 10 so you are understanding the user he is searching for iphone and based on that you are recommending him okay the items so that you can improve your business as well and computer vision computer vision means you have a photo you are understanding the photo okay what are the objects available in the or present in the photo okay let's check one guy is doing something one photo of one guy what he is doing okay it is understanding the image as well okay these are the applications which we implemented in the current industry these are present sales prediction and understanding the text might be uh, something okay might be review or even if you say such something in the google okay i'll give you some quick example okay in the google you are searching something Okay, let me share my screen again. Okay, you are searching for uh, in the Google. You are searching for something movie, robot, robot. So it is giving me robot. I type robot only. Robot two point zero, robot two point zero movie, robot two, robot movie. So it is understanding my intention. Okay. it is google is understanding my intention okay robot to movie fine there are n number of blogs on this okay n number of blogs n number of sites it is giving me from the internet whole internet it's giving me some sites related to this okay or even if i searching for something okay some item okay so might be some news okay uh, if you are searching for some trending topic uh, what is that take something okay maybe to some item what is that india cricket match live okay oh some match so from different sites okay this is one site this is another site okay hot stuff is another site okay so from different sites it is giving me the information related to indian cricket match live so there are let's take there are 100 of streaming websites from this 100 okay the whole i have let's take i have 1 billion websites 1 billion from 1 billion it is picking 100 from 100 it is showing me top 10 on my first page so how it is understanding it how it is grouping it everything related to machine learning okay and when they are talking about the text it is natural language processing okay this is how it is grouping the sites 
which are uh, sorry to cut you can you come again please so i'm i'm saying it segments the sites okay it segments from the whole website it segments first it selects the relevant thing then it segments segments means okay these are talking about cricket these are talking about live streaming okay it gives first importance to the live streaming then cricket okay it just gives a priority and it shows to us it just groups indirectly which platform are you using jupiter notebook or google collab so first we'll start with spider not even uh, jupiter notebook in the jupiter notebook uh, we can see but uh, for development spider is better i'll show you why okay i'll show you why and uh, google collab we are not working on deep learning okay so google collab is not required okay yes once we move to the neural networks i'll introduce that as well okay i'll show you uh, end of the session why we are using uh, spider okay it's grouping and it also understands okay i'm rem just removing india cricket team i'm searching for something and it's giving me the images as well so it is converting my text and it understanding and it's giving me the related images as well okay so i'm giving some text it is understanding and it is giving related images as well so these are some of the use cases uh, which we use general and these are the use cases where we are using day in day out for business reasons to solve some business problem there and these are some of the things where the technology available so the first one is is uh, frankly this is a cognitive computing first one is ibm watson machine ibm watson where it beats the world champions okay world champions in one of the competition and second one is it's a google, uh, apple siri even if you have android mobile you have google assistant if you ask some question okay show me this it shows you the corresponding results so it's understanding your voice to text and it's searching in the web and it's giving the corresponding result okay and the third one is self driving car okay self driving car this is in testing mode without a driver the car it understands where the particular objects are okay the car has some cameras sensors and uh, the control on the machine so it identifies the car okay the car is 15.2 meters so what is my current speed if i want to uh, overtake that what is the angle i have to turn okay it considers everything okay these are these are in uh, testing mode and these are some serving bots okay even if you go to some shopping mall you can ask the bot okay uh, i want to purchase something where the particular shop is it identifies it gives some information and uh, not here but in some labs some self i mean the serving bots are available okay it serves some coffee mugs it picks that okay these are in industry but with very limited organizations but what are shown in the companies most of the organizations are do, using this okay the first two most of the organizations and the third one is uh, some sites e-commerce sites okay amazon flipkart uh, ebay this kind of sites okay. computer vision uh, most of the companies which we, they are using even here also okay the third one the camera in front of the car it takes a pic and it understands what are the objects present okay if nothing is there it increases the speed or it uh, maintains the same motion if it identifies something then it launches a different algorithm okay the speed and everything so it's a series of or pipeline of actions okay and recently not recently uh, six months back i read one blog where they are storing human memories on dreams as well dreams in my dream uh, i might see some excellent visual but tomorrow i cannot explain that morning okay i might forget that so there is some research going on to store the dreams as well okay 
their uh, biology involved, but AI also involved over there. There, where we are using the cognitive computing concepts, okay? The industry and the research is going on that much far, okay? Even if you're taking one selfie in your uh, mobile, okay? It gives you the rectangle where it recognizes where your face is. Even if you move, it moves the box as well. It's identifying your face so that it can give the best picture. Might be, it, uh, you know, it uh, adjusts our light, okay? Might be some blur kind of stuff, okay? Most of the mobiles today, they are included AI phone. Even Google Pixel, it's a full AI mobile, okay? And some of the blogs, okay? Uh, 50,000 posts in, in data science vacant in india report it's uh, almost one and a half two months back from uh, times of india so there is a huge demand there is a huge demand okay but uh, you know the uh, students also available the same force okay it might be uh, in hyderabad itself there are n number of organizations are doing but still why these fifty thousand posts are vacant okay this is one report the reason is they are learning the theoretical concepts, but there is a small difference between the practical and theory. Okay, they are not able to fill the gap. That's a major problem. Even I'm part of interview panel from almost three years. In the last two months, I said, I mean, three months, I selected two candidates. Okay, every uh, weekend and during weekdays as well. We are connecting. Interest. The only thing is the people are not understand in the real time that's a major problem and this is another uh, from uh, google ceo sorry ceo sundar picha ai is more important for humanity than fire and electricity nowadays without electricity we are nothing but still google ceo is saying ai is more important artificial intelligence okay data science and this comes under one number 11 only it's more important because future will be ai Okay, this will be the one of the core technology. Okay, and these are the hottest jobs and everything. But these are these are old. These are very recent. Okay, this is uh, about uh, demand and supply. Demand is huge. Supply also huge. But there is a gap. There is a gap between the industry expectations and the theoretical knowledge. They might learn from the YouTube or blogs or somewhere but they're not practicing real time that's a problem i know the technology but i do not know when to use which one okay which technique i have to use there's a small gap so i aim in that area i completely focus on the practical what i do what i assign to my team okay what is my expectation okay i teach that okay even if you stuck somewhere, how to uh, look for help? Might be from the senior, might be from the Google, or might be, I'm, I'm going to say, the internet, how you can do that? Where you can get ready-made code, okay? I'll teach all this in our session. Okay, end of the day, we are working for money. How the pay? How will be the pay? So the data center is where we belong to. I mean, at least uh, after the course, you are equal to one plus guy. So he is a data scientist, junior data scientist in some companies. But these are the trends from uh, Glassdoor. Okay. So data scientist, if you see, the second one is manager. Okay. Business intelligence manager, which includes the experience. But data scientist, even you work for two years, the guy called data scientist is getting a huge pay. Data architect, again, uh, that's related to the same, but it needs some more uh, knowledge on that. But uh, who works with the data, he gets more data scientist. But what is a data science? What we do, okay? What we need, frankly. Data science is a very big, big thing, okay? Very big thing. For that, we need computer science. Computer science in the sense, if you are aware of at least one programming language, okay, might be C, C++, or Java, .NET, whatever it is. If you know 
the if else conditions loops and a little bit on how it works then that's fine okay machine learning this is one of the core thing we do okay machine learning i'll start from the very basic thing and i'll go to the intermediate and i'll teach the advanced methods as well on the scale of 10 i'll teach till 8 okay teach till 8 the maintained still the gap is there because the latest algorithms which i'm not using or at least there's not a full-fledged one but this might be which i'm not aware of even if you come across i can explain you on that or this might need uh, you know little more knowledge okay but i for sure i'll teach you which you can use in real time where you will get the best results okay math and statistics i'll teach you required mathematics and statistics what kind of mathematics we learn so even if you remember the matrix and multiplications and a little bit that's fine and the statistics i'll teach you the, which is required but math is a very very big subject okay if you learn only matrix multiplications or something or linear algebra is it okay we just use which is readily available if you are introducing or if you're doing some r d and there's something getting new then you need in-depth mathematics but at least in the in initial phase we are learning machine learning but not mathematics we are using which is readily available we are not going to introduce from the scratch okay we are using which is readily available we are doing applications okay we are doing applications so the understanding is enough at least at the initial phase so i'm going to teach this the traditional software it depends on uh, what background you came from okay and the traditional research traditional research means how if, if you do not have something how to research for something okay might be developing some component i'll teach the basics of these two okay and subject matter expertise it depends on the domain okay it depends on the domain might be uh, insurance might be finance might be retail might be healthcare okay this part i'm not going to cover because it's a very vast as most of the people know it depends on the uh, uh, client okay i'm not going to cover this but rest of the things i'll cover if something is related to domain how to get help okay how to reach sme how to ask the question in a clever way i'll teach that okay so the same things uh, which i'm going to cover this is what is called as the data science uh, prerequisites or the math this is what i'll cover in our course okay what i'll cover who is the data scientist what is his roles and responsibilities and the prerequisites of the course as i said linear algebra statistics and a probability okay and a little bit of integrations as well okay the statistics and probability i'll focus on these okay because if you want to understand something you need to understand in depth right which is required i'll teach you that and python as a programming language and the required packages as i said we just use the packages or something is available okay we call this as a package i'll teach you the important packages and how to use them and how to solve the problem with the help of the packages and why python in industry uh, you might be seeing uh, or as well i'll show you in the next slide machine learning algorithms as i said this is the backbone of data science and artificial intelligence as well i'll teach you all the algorithms not all 80 percent algorithms which we use in general supervised and unsupervised you will understand the uh, difference okay but i'll cover all detailed explanation and implementation of ml techniques so far we learned only the techniques here this is a big thing okay when to use which technique if something is not working how to uh, evaluate that and how to move to the next one if you have n which one to select okay which one to select when this i'll explain here okay 
and day to day activities of a data scientist okay once you change your profile or your uh, technology into data science once you step into the organization what you do from the morning to evening okay so how you receive some problem line how you to understand that if some questions if you are not able to understand how to get help from business and where to get from the lead or sme or where to get and if you are claiming as i, I worked for one year how to ask the question in an intelligent way even if you ask the basic question they might understand uh, your claiming okay but how to understand the question in the intelligent way but for sure you have to work okay if you are claiming you have to work you have to get good knowledge then only you can claim if not for sure they will uh, catch you in the interview okay i'll teach you that as well how you will get the data how you will get the task how to understand it how to develop the model and how to productionize that how to deploy in the production i'll teach you all okay real time application some of the applications which we are using currently okay even uh, this is the technology this is the algorithm this is for this application this is the real time just to play with that and introduce in, uh, introduce uh, your thoughts into that okay do something experiment okay and end to yet execution from the scratch to till implementation so this is optional the last one the last one is optional but i can help you if you want to work i'll give you the problem line i'll give you the data i'll guide you how to implement this why this is optional means some of the people they are interested in only learning okay might be uh, the 10 plus experience or they want to understand how they can implement data science in their project okay because of that this is optional but if you are a, if you are beginner or if you want to learn i can help you on that okay and why python okay this is from 2017 uh, kagel uh, survey 76 percentage of the people they are using python okay 60 percent they are using r okay might be some people they are using both but majority is 76 when i started 3 years back teaching i used r okay i teached r but uh, based on the demand and uh, the current industry moving to the python i started teaching python in python okay and these are some of the questions from uh, previous batch okay might be there from uh, some database uh, dba side or testing they are not developers so they have the question something like i am not very good in coding i cannot write optimized code i can manage since i know the c c++ uh, if else conditions and for loop i cannot manage i can manage but i cannot write optimized code how can i do that so if you know basics and how to uh, if if else conditions work for loops work you can little bit knowledge on that you are okay okay even if you are not able to understand that that's a problem but if you are able to understand the basics then fine because we are using the code which is readily available if you map with mathematics part i said we are doing machine learning applications okay the same applies here as well the coding means you have to solve the problem so you need to write optimized code but something in your mind you are able, you should be able to do it that's it and during python sessions i'll teach you the syntax and how it works and when to use what okay i cannot understand math in depth even if you are able to understand the basic mathematics then that's fine okay basic mathematics that's fine you need not to understand in depth mathematics in the first go okay i do not have phd so i do not have any certifications so uh, if i go to interview what will happen so this was a previous story but now they there is a demand they need people who can work who ha- who has knowledge if you are able to prove then that's fine you need not to have some certification okay the academic certifications are valid but uh, no standard certifications for machine learning okay 
it depends on the organization but uh, even if you do not have anything that's fine because they need some people who can work if you're working then that's fine you have some knowledge that conduct some test if you're okay they'll give they do not check for any certifications i do not have fast computer okay uh, it comes when you are working with a huge data as uh, one of our uh, friends he suggested the google collab this is one of the uh, this is from google okay where you can work with huge data with a gpu for free okay it's uh, faster than cpu it's for free okay you if you have 4 gb ram and a basic computer then that's fine okay i do not have time so if you are able to spend one hour per session and uh, one hour per uh, practicing that then that's more than enough most of the people they are working somewhere uh, they could not manage that but if you are able to manage two hours in a day at least for uh, uh, two months then that's fine i do not know big idea most of the people they know uh, data science it's a good scope it has good packages but they do not know in and out by the end of the course you will understand completely when to use what what exactly it is okay how to solve this you will under you will learn anything okay these are from um, the previous batch questions if you have anything you can ask me i can explain you that any questions yeah hi hi sir this is sai reddy hi sai reddy yeah good morning yeah go ahead very good morning uh, uh, actually uh, how many uh, kinds of data we are going to work i mean it's a, it's called a retail and uh, hospitality uh, insurance banking like the data will be you know, so how many different kinds of data we are going to work in so we 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 work with very generic data it's not related to any domain that's the first thing uh, the reason is if you, if i'm introducing some domain i need some domain knowledge as well but you might be uh, working with insurance but some other people might be working with retail they cannot correlate because of that we take very generic data and the data would be the csv file then i'll teach you how to get the data if it is in some database okay and connections for uh, some different systems as well okay so deepak my question is uh... Uh, i'm not really good at math uh, because okay. i'm a bcom grad I'm, i'm a bcom graduate i'm working in analytics uh, okay. using basic excel access sql server mm -hmm. so my main job is automation so i want to get into this data science but basically i don't i'm i'm more fear of this uh, algebra linear algorithms and what all uh, this mathematics basically so what do you think what is the scope for me uh, the person who doesn't know anything about the maths okay uh, that's what i'm trying to say even if you know basic mathematics so might be during your plus 2 intermediate if you're from uh, telugu states you might have some matrix multiplications matrix additions right okay yeah that's, that's enough because we are using machine learning applications we are not going to derive something new we are applying the machine learning okay, okay? that if you know, if you are able to you know uh, if you understand uh, your basic mathematics from plus 2 you are good okay okay thank you yeah hi uh, hi good morning uh, i was wondering whether are we gonna uh, look into any real time project scenarios yes for sure we will we will do that okay any related to any specific domain because in the interview they would be asking you what was your project and how did you work on the project and how did you implement the data science techniques on uh, a particular domain correct so what we do is uh, especially what i do uh, is 
when you are preparing your resume okay uh, might be uh, venkat will be giving uh, the i mean the projects and everything first i'll create the project based on your current project if you are working okay i'll try to create one project from your existing client okay you are if you are working with retail i'll give you one project with a retail okay if you are working with a healthcare i'll give you one project with a healthcare it completely I'll, i'll i'll try to keep as simple as possible okay that's the first thing if you are a fresher then where you are very strong in the technology okay if you are strong in one area i'll try to derive projects from there and i'll explain you the basic domain knowledge okay if you are fresher i'll give you basic domain knowledge and i'll explain you the project end to end how you got the requirement how you uh, how you developed it how you communicated with the business and how you deployed it okay i'll teach okay. you that so interview assistance and uh, is also given uh, yeah yeah and also do we have the recordings can we also have the recordings of the sessions um i need to check with uh, the coordinator uh, mostly yes mostly yes uh, but what happened uh, i mean uh, venkat will coordinate on that i'm not very sure about that but he will okay. give you the exact information okay hi ravi uh, this is shiva hi uh, my uh, my question is like uh, we have a, uh, the market buzzwords like artificial intelligence data science machine learning and big data like that so do we uh, cover like artificial intelligence uh, in the course like uh, how it will be uh, not artificial intelligence but we understand the core part of artificial intelligence okay if you take the artificial intelligence okay as it uh, if you take artificial intelligence it's combination of images and text processing this is called natural language processing this is completely different uh, subject itself but i'll give you basics for natural language processing and computer vision as well i'll give the basics but i will not cover full fledged because this is almost uh, you know one graduation subject but i'll give the basics yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, then i will cover the entire thing like data science full end to end with cover with uh, yes. machine learning right yes yes even if you want i can show you uh, the course content sir uh, yeah sir sir सर इइट सैडा सैन पैने रईट सैडा सैन ट्रैनी इन हईदराबाद कदा इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टाटिस्टिक्स वेरियबल टाइप अंड mean median mode and everything the some sampling techniques and the hypothesis techniques i'll cover everything from the uh, tests as well from statistics okay and the distributions what are the distributions we do uh, and the linear algebra and the probability and the calculus okay which is required for machine learning okay only required machine learning only then i'll explain how to understand the data might be if i have some data if you compare with the table how to understand one column and how to understand the two columns and each and everything with the help of some plots charts and you can call this as statistics and plots as well figures and uh, figures in the sense numbers and visualization with the help of this two will take the decision and 
we understand the features more even more okay if business is sending me 10 features 10 columns from uh, database terminology 10 columns out of 10 10 are required okay might be i might drop something if it is not required i might introduce new might be 2 10 plus 2 it depends and how to do that i'll teach you that and from machine learning part i'll and i'll teach you each and everything i'll start from the beginning and uh, even you know the ensemble methods this is one of the advanced technique i'll teach you more than this okay and this is uh, here okay feature engineering i'll teach you some of the advanced techniques okay without doing feature engineering as well how to get the solution okay this is a traditional way but even i'll teach you how to do best things without doing much work okay mostly it's automated and i'll teach you that because uh, in house we developed some tools i'll teach you that as well okay and evaluate the performance of matrix if you develop something how to evaluate whether it is working fine or not if not what to do okay how to improve that this is what i'm talking about the text mining okay when you uh, since you asked the question i must explain this artificial intelligence it includes natural language processing okay but i'm using only text mining because natural language processing is a very big one text mining or text processing is a small piece of that which has the core basics i'll teach you that okay there are n number of techniques i do not want to introduce each and everything name it, it's might be uh, 20 or 25 concepts but i'll teach you everything in the basics and uh, how to do everything okay i was talking about the deep learning right i'll introduce neural networks okay neural networks so i'll give you the basics even if you learn deep learning in future it will be easy for you recommendation systems this was on amazon right so i'll give you the basics for this as well and the production is in the model these two topics are not part of uh, you know plain this three plain data science but in future if you see this you should not feel this is a surprise so i'm giving you the basics even if you see some topics in future you should at least feel okay i know some concepts from here i know the basics for that reason i included this tensorflow yes we implement neural networks with tensorflow and the keras yeah yeah sure i got it okay yes sir yeah uh, this is dattatreya uh, yeah uh, yeah go ahead i was basically from electronics background i am mm-hmm. just a fresher only just uh here i uh, just want to know uh, i was seeing computer vision chatbot and self driving some other use cases you have do you have really have any, uh, any uh, uh, real time projects relating to chatbots and uh, self driving or some other uh chatbots yes i'll tell you so chatbot means there are uh, tools available we have tools we can directly imp- imp- implement that okay It's a kind of plug and play. We need not to do so much. Okay. Even if you take, uh, chatbot online. Okay. If you take this, there are a number where you can plug and play. Okay. But if you want to develop one chatbot from the scratch. you can um, i mean might be after the course we can discuss because i implemented uh, two chatbots we can discuss and we can uh, you know work from the scratch even you can consider this as a your uh, real time project you can do that okay, uh, actually my idea was uh, i just want to develop my skills from scratch because i was just a fresher only right? so okay. if you if i see here self driving and computer vision these are really in my opinion they are relating to uh, some of the projects very big projects which are uh, we can do only in mnc solving but not at outside but uh, that was okay. my vision maybe okay. you can help me uh, so uh, 
what kind of from where we can extract the data these are the basic questions because uh, if i have some data in excel format uh, am i able to extract the information in from excel sheet from big excel sheet and uh, do some manipulation and uh, uh, showcase the results um, in, in in a better way uh, this is yes. uh, yep yes but, uh, first question is uh, i mean second question so can i extract uh, information from the excel sheet yes you can do that i'll teach you that as well okay the uh, first question is from where we can get the data uh, getting data is a little complicated thing because uh, let's take uh, self driving cars okay self driving cars uh, we have data available which is generic data if you want i can give you the source and i can give you the data as well okay for chatbots it depends okay it depends on the domain because uh, english is very generic right so uh, let's take uh, i'll take one word bull okay bull if i take uh, it can be animal or it can be uh, in the stock market okay it something is uh, growing okay it depends on the context so for nlp you have to decide the domain first your context first then yes we can do that chatbots yes i can give you the data even if you want to uh, uh, you know what is it develop from n to n i can give you the architecture as well if you want to use the readily available packages yes i can help you on that as well okay so actually uh, that was my uh, take away from your uh, lecture actually because i just want to uh, get some uh, little bit information about this chatbots and the excel formatting and these kind of stuff and because this neural networks these are really uh, has not that much expertise is in any in, in, in one of the area so maybe uh, i don't want to look on that but this was my take away so if you are able to guide in that area maybe that is uh, sufficient for me and you are uh, trying to say yep yep no, go ahead go ahead and you're trying to say data scientist and the data in there so many levels we have so uh maybe after our end of this uh, uh course maybe in which area i can be uh, placed uh maybe uh i just want to start my career uh, in a fresh way so uh do you have any any idea on it on it yeah first thing is uh i mean as i said i'll teach neural network basics okay mostly uh, bi weekly during weekends i'll conduct some sessions for uh, my uh, previous students okay what i do is they select uh, they have some whatsapp group they select some topic and they ask me to explain this something on this topic so as you like you even if you have uh, some students might be uh, four or five people if they are interested in deep learning as well i can teach that okay but uh, we need some audience for that that's the first even i can uh, i'm an nlp expert even i can uh, share you that okay i can uh, explain you the deep learning that is of the course that's not part of the course but if you if some people are interested i can teach you deep learning as well okay and uh, second question uh, sorry i forgot your second question actually <clears throat> the intention was uh, i think uh, from times of india we have 50k right 50k apps so uh, actually i was founding um, different areas here so in which area the in industry is really looking on it and you also explain us that okay uh, from the past three months you selected only two candidates out of 70 people so what was the expectation from your end out of these uh yeah first thing is uh, after the course you will belongs to the data scientist and second thing is uh, when i selected only two candidates what is my uh, criteria so first thing is anyone can answer questions that's not at all problem technical questions anyone can answer even if you are going through you need not to attend the session as well even if you go through some um, videos in youtube you can get it that's not a problem but actual problem comes when you need to apply in real time okay you have you, you know uh, let's it's, it's like you have weapons you have 10 weapons you do not know when to use what then you will fail 
right? That's a problem. Even people, even when I ask the questions, they can answer the technical questions. But when I ask a real-time scenario, they will fail. That's the first problem. Real-time scenarios, they will fail. If I post, even if they prepare well, even if I post some new question, new scenario, okay, that time they will fail. That's a major problem. So in that direction, uh, do we have any uh, prerequisites here? Because uh, here also in our session also we have, I think, uh, 40 or 30 people, maybe they, they, people will join and we all go for interviews and again we face a similar kind of situation. So so uh, do we have any inputs on that, how, how we can face a practical uh, area? So th this was, I was a little bit afraid of that one. Yeah, first I'll focus on the practicality only. I do not teach complete theory, okay? I might not, uh, I mean, for sure, I do not teach only theory or only practical. I'll teach in between, okay? Uh, some points even I might miss, but I'll teach you which is required and we, uh, which we use in real time, okay? My focus is on real time. Okay, because industry is expecting that it's not ex even if, if I teach you some basics, if you want to dig more, you can go through. But if you do not fill the gap, that's a problem. So I will focus on real time only. Okay, so thank you so much. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Sir, what is the course duration and the course timing, sir? Um, course duration, uh, it's two months. Okay. Uh, timings. Uh, Morning you, you seven can to contact eight. with. Yeah, mostly okay. seven to eight. Mostly seven to eight. But uh, okay. you can coordinate with Venkat. He will share you the rest of the details. Okay. Uh, right. I have one question. Uh, like, um, I have three years of experience and uh, I have a master's in computer science. So, is it good to switch to data science as uh, like uh, how it will be? Uh, so, uh, my first suggestion is are you committed? Okay. Since the market is there and the package is there, I'm just moving. That's the first question. If that is, a, if that is your uh, answer, then no. But if you want to learn or if you want to uh, be secured in your future, if you are committed, yes, I need to learn, I need to work. If you have this committed, then yes. Because uh, at least in my org, by two, uh, 2020 or 2022, we have two uh, release. We want to move most of the, our applications into machine learning. Okay. We aim to something because let's take. Uh, I'm getting some echo. Uh, if you're not speaking, please go on mute. Okay, let's take. We are working for some. Um, uh, let's say customer care. Okay, uh, where we can implement a uh, you know, good event. If you're calling customer care, okay, they're giving same answers. Okay, uh, what is the best plans do I have? Okay, or I'm not able to log in this. Uh, I'm not able to do this. How to do that? Customer care people, what they do, they have some standard answers, they'll give you that, okay? In my org, at least in one project where I'm handling, closely 200 people on floor, they're working, means for shift, they're working 200 people. They're giving same answers, they're not uh, doing something new, they're giving same answers. If I introduce my model over there, at least uh, first phase, my at least my uh, proposal or business is cutting down 140 people. Okay, I'm not saying to zero. From 200 people, we are leaving or we are giving back 140 people. Only 60 people, they are, they will work. Means we are cutting the cost. Okay, future, they might go to, uh, might be 160 to, uh, sorry, 140 to 160. Okay. So we are doing our best. Might be you might see something like artificial intelligence is killing jobs. But instead it's introducing new jobs as well. It's doing both. 
even if you have three years of experience in future might be uh, within five years okay ten uh, seven years for sure you see this kind of thing if you are in data science you will be in the secure zone for that you work you need to work hard okay yeah 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 Deep. yeah Deep. yeah thank you uh, it's like one more question. How I'm, I'm actually I'm joining from Chennai. Or uh, if I miss any class, uh, a particular day, so we can get how we can get back. And is there any possible way? Uh, first thing is we have a backup class we will conduct based on the students. And uh, mostly uh, you need to co coordinate with Venkat on this. He might be recording, and he might get uh, he might give you only uh, view access, not downloadable, but you can view. All yeah, the videos yeah, be recorded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay, thank you, Gadia. Yeah. yeah, what's the cost? Actually, I didn't get anything. Uh, you can call it, Vinkar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. My part is uh, teach you the subject and uh, real time, and if required, uh, you know, clarifying your doubts even when you attend the interview. Even you might uh, get some new questions. So how to uh, answer this or what explaining that? That's my part. And the rest of that uh, things, Venkat will take care of. Yeah, yeah, sure. Any more questions? Even if you have any questions, uh, even something in your mind, there's a question. It might be silly, might be basic. Everything is a question. Just to clarify it, you need not to keep in your mind. Hi, sir. Hi. Uh, actually, I am looking for to work real time projects. So, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Uh, actually, I am looking for to work in real time projects. Like, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's the industry is using data? Which data they are going to? Uh, use on like that. So, uh, will you will you help me in that? Uh, actually, when we are when we are going to face the interview, they will ask uh, what's your project implementation, how you worked on that. So that that's the thing. So, uh, yeah. will you help me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. My focus is that only. Okay. I'll explain the concepts, and I'll explain yeah. your project. I'll explain how we will implement uh, in real time. I'll explain everything. I'll provide even since you're asking for data, I'll uh, try to get data from online only, but uh, because uh, data is very costly, costly in the sense yes. we cannot get the data. Even if we pay for something, they will not provide because that is their business, right? Okay. So uh, I'll try to get uh, the best data for you and I'll explain what to do, how to do, and everything. Okay. Uh, in Kaggle, uh, we have a huge data. Um, like, you know, um, so through that, um, if possible, we work on that, if possible. Uh, yes. Data. Yes. 90% you can use that. 90% uh, th that is the best data. Even I believe the data. But 10%, there will be some modifications. OK, uh, let's take, uh, there is some figures. OK, even if I'm, uh, even if you see, since I mentioned the Kaggle, uh, one company is there, some ABC company. OK. They mock their sales. Okay, they'll give you the sales, but they mock it. They will not give you directly sales. If you give the directly sales, the competitor might capture your sales, right? So this kind of some mocking is there. I'll, uh, but yes, you can directly go ahead and use Kaggle. There's no doubt. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm able to talk now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah. But all the softwares that were required to get installed uh, to pursue this course. Uh, you need uh, Anaconda, which is a wrapper of Python. I'll teach you that and I'll give you the link as well. You mean the required software will be provided by you? Uh, not software. Uh, this is the open source. This is a completely okay. open source and it's free. So, so you will be providing the links where we need to install, right? Correct. 
yes okay. yes sir will you teach uh, uh, probability stats and pro only stats or also in yes probability i'll teach probability as well okay okay uh, i i i think that there lot of algorithms are there like uh, uh, previously i was uh, seen some index some other another sites so like uh, bias theorems uh, like that it depends on probability right yes i'll teach bias theorem as well uh, uh association rules something uh, like association rules we will go beyond that association rules are very basic but even if you want uh, just uh, i mean again i'm saying the same thing even uh, some people need something just uh, share me the topics uh, we can um, discuss that as well i can teach you that the only thing is within two months we need to cover as much as we can with the best industry requirements okay uh, as you know within two months we cannot cover all things but i'll cover which is the best okay as uh, association rules uh, this is one topic even if you need i can explain during one week there but this is of the record of the course okay sir neural network will, uh, will under comes in deep learning right correct oh, i'll teach okay, okay. basic artificial neural networks okay uh, mm. even i show you right okay uh, will you teach deep learning oh, i mean uh, not part of the course machine learning not part of the course i'll teach you basics uh, as a part of the course but even if you need deep learning yes um, you know might be uh, during one weekend we can cover that as well yeah companies are looking like deep learn uh, deep learning uh, i know i know the, i know yeah i know <laughs> they are working as much data so that's the thing i'm asking you to uh, yeah okay. believe me most of the companies are interviewers as well okay at least the second level first level uh, technical people if taking they were aware of but managers they know deep learning is a buzzword if you are working with the deep learning uh, it's you know they are using some latest or advanced techniques but it depends on the data okay uh, yes. i'll teach you which are the scenarios uh, we use we go for deep learning and if you are interested i'll uh, before uh, one week or two weeks i'll announce that so that uh, you can attend during your weekend i'll teach depending on the advanced topics as well okay and hello yeah go ahead hello yeah can you yeah, i can hear you as a data yes as a data analyst how much file size they are taken and what is that file of minimum size and maximum size See if they are taking CSV file formats and Excel file formats and JSON file formats, they are taking straight as a data analyst. What is the minimum file size, minimum file size, and maximum file size? Um, it depends on your uh, problem line. Okay. Okay. Uh, if it's a traditional system, let's take uh, I want to understand my sales. Okay. Uh, and my industry is ten years old. Okay, I can get good data. That's not a problem. okay i might get uh, okay. mil millions of records okay but okay. if i want okay. to understand my latest launch last month only uh, i launched my iphone 10 okay i'm just taking one example i i launched iphone okay. 10 but sales are not good within one month i'll get very less data right only yeah. one month and versus 10, 10 years so it depends okay. on the problem line and your access in real time you might not have access for entire data okay might be uh, the access levels right uh, even um, only very few people get the complete access on the database usually we request uh, i need this much data okay i need this much data uh, precisely we ask for duration of the data i need data from today to might be uh, one year old might be six months old okay it okay. depends on your problem line how much data you will get See, see, see. What, what my intention is. See, if I am using as a pandas, if I take as a pandas as a data frame, so if I take a twenty GB or thirty GB or hundred GB data, also my file format data is. It will not. It will not. So for that, what so we do is. Yeah, we go with the, the task frame, right? Task libraries. Uh, yeah, in task. Python, advanced libraries as a task. Yeah. 
yeah the problem is uh, if you have uh, 20 gb or some big files uh, i yes. believe you have some big data environment correct yes so big data we use spark for that spark and no, we use yes. as a python developers your new new advanced libraries is there that is for as a dask so if you go with dask is better or if you work with spark is a better spark is a better the reason is it gives you parallel processing even if you have 20 gb file if you are running on your single machine how much time it will take versus this, this dask also is providing parallel processing in python uh, developers right but what is the environment you have python uh, google collaborate in zero sync i'm talking about i have one system okay my okay. Uh, my laptop okay which is okay. 4 gb ram 4 gb ram hardly four threads four processors okay okay it might be processing it might be processing parallelly but it runs only four threads correct yeah agree if i deploy yes, on if i deploy on hadoop cluster or spark cluster i might get 100 processors so i can complete it fast agree yeah that's what I'm, i prefer spark okay okay can understand right because the simple thing is everything runs on the processors or uh, threads toss whatever you call If I have more, I can yes. get fast. Yes, 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 yes. If you go with as a big data files, then if you go with the, okay. as a Spark, the Spark okay. is only Java developers. So next set another different people are also coming. So we are, we are the Python developers. So if you move with this uh, Dask framework, this is very useful for me and okay. easy to understand that's also, right? That's true. That's true. See, uh, my only concern is uh, I design applications. Okay, before designing the applications. what i have i'll take that that's the first if it is not fulfilling my requirement i'll try to introduce something new which gives me best performance okay as you said we can do and i, I, I 100% agree there is no doubt i can do that but based on the i need to consider performance as well okay based on the performance i'll take the decision i have one small doubt small doubt in in pandas pd underscore read underscore file format is there right that's for that function how much size file data will take maximum how much size this is the running one asking one question same like this question only how much file size you are getting see we are taking pd underscore the read csv file format is there right so at mm-hmm. that function how much size uh, file size is taken maximum or uh, minimum kb also will taken what about Correct. maximum how much maximum you can take uh, 2 million means uh, 20 lakhs records even that depends how many columns do i have okay 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 this uh, columns wise or feature columns wise you can say you can say 2 million he is asking 2 million file size file size he is asking file size means or gbs or uh, 1 gb or 2 gb or 3 gbs or uh, is taken or mbs only how it's much MBs uh, not even gb not, not even gbs Okay. Not even okay. it's MBS only. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, uh, I did my course on uh, Udemy. Hmm. Uh, in, pr- in practical uh, real time scenarios, where these data scientists guys they are working in real time, what's going on there in real time industries? Actually, I don't know. Actually, I'm a Python developer. Okay, okay. Okay, that's the reason why uh, I can uh, I'm listening your. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you, yeah, when you use a doc, I understood that. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I understood that. That's the reason I'm uh, saying it technically. Okay. But uh, when you are asking about the real time, so real time it okay. depends on a uh, few concepts. Like you know, you want to deploy a model. Okay. Uh, yeah. Since you uh, you got the I mean, uh, even a uh, few people might not understand this, but uh, for sure end of the course you will understand this. You might be working on some classification. Okay. Yes, classification and regression models. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. classification is your task or understanding the data is your task it depends okay uh, let's take uh, 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 for which client you work i mean what is the domain banking domain i'm working banking okay 
okay yes so uh, i i might be making some payment through some gateway okay i'm transferring yes. from yes. one account to another account okay yeah. what happens let's take 100 people or entered into the your banking 100 people okay yes. out of 100 own uh, let's take the screens you uh, when you click on one screen you are going to the second screen right yeah so you have let's take you have uh, four screens a b c d four screens you have to enter credential in your screen a then you are going to screen b from b to c c to d so once 100 people come into the your uh, path path might be only 60 people are going to the c, c, screen b yes from b to c might be uh, 40 people are going only yeah. 10 people are completing their work okay are placing the order or completing the transaction okay so you are losing 90 percent people okay your problem line is to understand why people are dropping okay 100 people are coming to my path but only 10 people are making the transaction why 90 people are dropping if that is your understanding you have to do eda more that's the first second i can say the same thing in a different way you need to predict which customer will complete his transaction okay you are what how are you doing is same but your expectation is different first one you need to understand who will drop why he is dropping second thing is you need to build a model might be classification yes this customer will drop or will not drop right okay it depends on that it depends your problem line okay okay, okay. so this is the real time what user is asking what client is asking that is your thing Okay. okay, and one, one more thing that in uh, this data analyst uh, position, some some guys are there asking what are the visualization techniques, you know, uh, uh, like uh, SAS, uh, Tableau, some etc. Tab they are asking. This is also mandatory? It's not it's mandatory if you work as a data scientist, but if you work as a data analyst, okay, data analyst also is not uh, that much, but uh, as you said, uh, Tableau is a by default most of the organizations they are using. Okay? okay. But after this course, I'll teach you some of the visualizations which are best and for free. Tableau, you need to uh, purchase it. It's a licensed version, right? There yeah. are some tools which give best for free of cost. I know that. I mean, I'll teach you end of the course. Okay. Okay. No, sorry. I will not teach, but I'll share the details. I'll not. I'm not going to teach okay. the visualizations everything. We can understand by yeah. share the links also. We can understand by Google search also. We yes. are learning. I yeah, I can, yeah, that's true. I'll do end of the course. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Hello, Deepak. Yeah. Yeah. See, actually, we are we are installing this Anaconda software, some etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Why we are working with this Google Collaborate? Is this it is for a free resource to write? So nowadays, each and every guys they are using for internet. So it is better to you can uh, work on this Google Col Collaborate. Google Collab. Uh, it depends. First thing is, uh, as one of our friend is working for banking. Okay. okay. So if you want to develop some model or train his model, he has to send his data outside. Google means it's uh, in the Google premises. Okay. In the Google collab means it's in the Google. So I have to send my data to Google. But as a banking customer, I do not, I never do that because I, I should not send my data outside. So I need same thing in my office. Okay. If you want to experiment something, yes, you can use Google Collab. But it depends. Again, if you have less data, let's take I have only uh, 10 lakhs records. Yes, I can do in my system as well. Why I need to send uh, something to Google Collab? Google Collab has 
some drawbacks as well the coding is different little little and yeah. uh, at least they um, rec- i mean when i tried uh, almost 9 um, months back or 1 year back when i tried very first time the virtual machine w- get disconnected even if i'm training my model if it is taking hours okay if i'm doing some image classification mm-hmm. after some period of time it disconnects okay might be uh, they increased to 12 hours now but if you are training your model more than 12 hours it disconnects the connection that's a problem with google uh, collab okay okay it depends on exactly the problem line and uh, what is the client you work for actually by practicing purpose deep learning and this machine learning concepts we are working on google that collab right point of is that's excellent site yeah that is excellent site Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Any more? Okay. Uh if you have i mean uh, you can ask even if you have any more i can answer any questions we are stopping here um uh, please write your feedback uh, on demo uh, review or whatever it is and you can coordinate with venkat he will uh, share uh, rest of the details okay thank you guys have a nice weekend thank you Thank you.